So here we are at uh, the Olympics, at the Olympic Park, the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. I'm going to drive you around on my bike, as long as I don't lump it. So you can get here easily on the Docklands Light Railway from my place. So I'm going to take you to an amazing water playground with a hundred fountains that you can jump on. Sorry about the bumping, my little connection on the bike isn't very good. I have to find a better connector. So it doesn't bump. What do you think of this?
Well, there you go. That's the best water park I've seen. I've got a little sand pit here. A very tiny playing pool, paddling pool. So this is uh, the uh, swimming pool, the aquatic centre. It's not often that the British use a big word to describe something. I had to teach about mini beasts instead of insects at school. <laughs> they call them mini beasts. They hate, they hate science in this country, the, the peasants. Even the upper classes hate science. The mayor hasn't studied a word of science. This little climbing frame is quite fun. Demolishing the uh, topper, top levels to turn it into a football stadium and racing track. So this is a playground. Not very clever, I don't think. Barrington Park, where I grew up, and Mike might have played, was the best in its heyday before the war. But you see very few sand pits in London. And this is how I socialised as a kid, playing with my neighbours in the sand pits. Barrington Park. We had the tallest slide ever at uh, the Botanical Gardens Park for children. Huge slide. <laughs> Terrified me even. I used to climb trees and not be terrified. This swing is a good one, we've got one on our estate. So you can stand on it and more than one can sit in it and it doesn't seem as though you get thrown out. Well, I hadn't noticed this one over here until just now.
got to jump on somehow. How does she jump on? Just imagine if we made the world suitable for children. Now, this is a three wheel scooter. So let's have a look at the scooter. Can you see the scooter? Very springy, and the steers with two wheels in the front. So there's a big scooter with big wheels. Wow, look how fast he can go on a scooter. Liam, did you see that? No. If you promise not to buy a cycle, I'll buy you the best scooters there are. And when you get older, I'll buy you an electric one to help you go fast and free. But don't buy a bicycle because they're dangerous. Especially on New Zealand roads. Far too dangerous. If you want to stay alive. Well, here's a little girl with a scooter. fun she's having. See, this is on a slope. It's free for her all the way. And it's got... So it doesn't tip over so easily. And you tip it, and you tip it over to make it uh, corner. So it's like the high-speed trains and... Uh, in Japan, that tilt as they go around the corner. I met a man on Japanese television who was making the parts that make it tilt. 
But here's another little kid with a... Look at the fun he's having. That boy with the big wheeled one there, and that's the one for you. Let's see if we can find it for you. And then you can cycle on the, you can scoot on the pavement and stay safe. Cars are far too dangerous to ride on the same road with. We have to build uh, cycleways so that they're safe to cycle on. You can't share a, a bike and a car anymore because cars are too fast. They accelerate too fast. And uh, it's so easy to make a mistake driving a car. And we've got problems with trucks turning left in London and they can't see the bike or the cycle next to them and they just drive straight over the poor cyclist. Doesn't stand a chance, doesn't know he's turning left. Thinks he's going straight on, but because he, he doesn't put his hand out. So every week a cyclist gets crushed under a lorry in London. Because they're stupid and cycle in London. London isn't a place for cycling in. So I bring out my bike every summer take it on the train to Richmond Park but this park's close to me now so I came here today to show you uh, what they've done with the Olympic Park over the last two years they've been making it for people to enjoy but they haven't put any houses in it any flats in it so it's a complete waste of land. We've got all this land going to waste now without blocks of flats in the middle of the grass where people can enjoy this beautiful park, living in the park. And that's how, how stupid people are. They've built all the flats in a big block. I'll show you them. when they made the village for the athletes to uh, stay in they built them these flats here see them all, all it's a huge block of them and they've got a little square bit of green in the middle of them all to go outside with your dog and they could all be spotted uh, dotted around the park so that the sun shines in both directions but when the sun shines the other way, they're in shadow. And they're so close together that we're shading each other from the sun. So there's no, the whole point of a tower block, so you get the sun in both windows, the front and the back, in the morning and the afternoon. That's what's happened to my beautiful building. I get, it's a narrow one, so the, I've got a window in the front and the back. It's a bit far to go to the to the um, cycling uh, drome, the velodrome. They even use the French word for cycle, velodrome. So I'm going to take you home. Get home by seven. I spent all yesterday doing my cooking, unfroze the fish, white fish and oily fish, salmon, and uh, fillets of veal, uh, tu uh, turkey. Turkey's better than chicken. It's got better animal acids in it to turn into our flesh, especially for women. So. I defrosted it in the sink of water and then smashed it all out flat and put it in, you know how to coat food? Put it in flour, then add mixed egg and then into breadcrumbs. So I make my own bread every week and if there's some left over I'll 
sitting on the bread crumbs. So I had plenty of bread crumbs saved up. So now I've got three weeks of food in the freezer. Beautiful scallop, beautiful scallops of turkey and fish in the morning. You Japanese love your fish. So you study all the fishes in New Zealand. And then what they all are called. I've forgotten now. Talbot, is it? So this is not a very safe. The light hasn't gone yet. People are still walking. So see how strange, how dangerous people are crossing again against just because there's no traffic. But someone follows them and gets knocked down. So there we are, the, the traffic stopping, so the light will go. And there's one for the cycle. I've got a mask to wear on the bike to keep the fumes out of my lungs. But a half a million, that's a thousand and a thousand, five hundred thousand. Not one thousand, but not one hundred thousand, but five hundred thousand people breathe in the fumes in Europe. And they die every year. Two million after two years. Four million after four after eight years. All dying from lung disease and heart disease, breathing in the fumes. Because they love their cars. They have to have a car. They can't do it. Make their hole in the 